Okay, number 31. Don't forget if you're new to the workouts, go back, practice number one, two, three, all the way to 31. And then you'll be uh, very skilled, really good shape from it, and you'll have that progression. Because each time we do a new technique, we spend more time on it, we go slower. That being said, we rip through some of the old basic techniques that we already have a good handle on. Okay, so let's start off with a warm up. Everybody start off, open and close your feet. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Add the arms. One, down, two, shoulders down, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten. One hand single, ready? One, two, three, stay with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, couple more. Nine, ten. Good job. All right, let's go here now, running forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, regular squats, one, two, three, four, four, no problem here, one part, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, Move your arms forward, big circles. Move your arms backwards. Good, let's do them together. Circling, one, two, three, nice and loose. Four, five, switch directions. One, two, three, four, and five. Left and right with the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's go hips in a circle. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Side to side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, let's go touch the opposite toes. One, towards them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Forward, middle, back, up. One, two, three, up. One, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Press the hips forward. Two, three, good, one more. One, two, three, and relax, good. Let's go side to side again. This time we're gonna open up our knee, point our toes up, and then we're gonna switch. Hope you guys have been doing the body weight exercise routines that I put out as well. A lot of good motions that help you with your striking as well, your conditioning. Side to side, good, and Relax, good job. Knee circular, one, two, three, four, five. Other way, one, two, three, four, five. Good, up and down your toes, one, two, three, four, and five. And let's go for a little walk on the tiptoes. One, two, around the room, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Edge of your foot, one, two, three, Four, five, other side edge, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Heels, one, two, three, so kind of weird. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and inside edge, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, my friends, here we go. Let's get into a basic movement drill. Get the body moving a little bit. Put your Weak leg in front, strong leg in the back, open up, shoulder width apart, not too far apart, not too far apart this way either. 
always 50% weight on this foot, 50% on this foot, this way, front and back, and also left and right. Now again, I go into these in much more detail in the beginner lessons, it's always good to kind of re reiterate that, even for myself, okay? So half and half, not in a straight line, feel the body, okay, no tension. This should be a position you can stand for a long time. Your butt is tilted back a little, so you can get that forward pressure. Hands go up, okay? Elbows in, close to your body, relax them. Remember, we bring our head down to our hands rather than our hands up to our head, okay? We can't maintain this type of space, fatigue. Bring the package down. I never shrink. When you see something when I learn is we kind of start getting smaller. This fatigues my legs. Just a slight athletic bend, okay? Let's go forward, ready? Front, back, front, back, front, back, coming towards me, let's go. Hands don't move, okay? This tilt does not change. Let's go backwards, back. Very common, this foot goes behind this one, you see? You need to keep that width, back, back. Ultimately, you wanna look at the opponent, as you guys, right? But I don't wanna look at my feet, but when you're learning, you look at your feet. Let's go, left, left. You guys go to your left, so it might not be in front of me. Right, right foot, right foot. Right foot, okay? Left, forward. Feel the looseness, everybody shake it out. It should be that loose, as loose as like this, this is how you gotta be when you fight, ready? Loose, loose. If you felt my arms, it would be easy to move, okay? One, two, loose and sleepy. Backwards, backwards. You guys remember the tough directions? The two ones you gotta really be mindful of? Right-handers to your right, watch this. You're gonna touch your heel many times. Touch the ball of the foot first, okay? Left is easy because we don't feel like touching the heel. Forward is difficult. Look, you're gonna to wanna to heel first. Touch the ball first. And for some reason when we go backwards, we don't have any problems at all. Okay, so ready, hands up. You're gonna move one step in any direction you, that I, you want when I count. One, two, sometimes it could be minimal. See, three, I might just adjust this much in a fight. Four, I might go big. Five, I might be too fast. Six, seven, chin down, eight, Nine, ten, any direction. One, two, three. If I stop, you stop. There's many times in the match where you're going to stop and stay on your ground. If they come in, boom, you're going to fire. Nothing wrong with stopping, okay? If I'm much better than the person, I might just stand, get right up to them and say, come on, and I won't even move, right? They'd have to make me move by hurting me, by trying to, you know, show me a great ability that makes me have to move. I don't just move for the sake of it. Ready? Hands up. Let's go. All right, let's go through our basics. Okay, we're gonna do the jab 10 times. One, touch. Two, touch. Three, touch. Four, good. Five, little breath out when you punch. Six, seven, eight. Make sure all the turning happens at the 90% mark. Boom, and it turns back right away. Ready? 10, working on keeping this hand from moving. Elbow in down here. One, couple more. Two, all right, let's do the cross now. One, turn your foot, bring it back. Two, straight line has two positions. It has starting, it has hitting, and it has starting, which is actually finishing too, right? Three, four, very common, guys. This is we hit, we have the basics here. Look, is it, we, we lean too much in the front foot, and then when we go to put our foot down, it doesn't want to go down. So that means your shoulder won't come back, you see? But when your foot goes down, your shoulder comes back. Okay, so watch me, I don't lean, boom. Even though I'm hitting forward, I'm still 50-50. I'm not 80, you understand? That's very common, it's kind of invisible. Ready? One, two, as fast as your punch comes back, the foot should go down. Three, okay, let's go from here now, we're gonna put them together, jab, cross. One, two, no difference now. Three, come back. Four, you lose. Five, again, we're still warming up. Six, right back to your, you can put uh, cheekbones, or you can carry your front hand slightly forward. Okay, which is good, you're gonna get used to here. Cuts off the angle of the shots. Also put your punch um, closer to your opponent, harder to see coming, okay? Seven, eight, as long as you don't wind this up, as long as you don't go back and then go, you waste that time. Just push it, right? Nine, push, turn. 10, okay, we're gonna do 10 knees with our right leg. Get the legs and hips warmed up. We're gonna step with our left foot. We're gonna reach across and grab, protecting our face. Pull to the right, nice smooth knee. Knee up high, point the toes. Pull the heel back to your butt. 
Try to knee less up and more forward. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Get that pull. This shoulder's got to go back. Four. Keep this leg straight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold the heel back. Nine. Ten. Don't lean back. I don't want this. Okay? I just want that shoulder pulling back. All right. Switch legs. Reach out to the other corner. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And this pull is not a tense pull, flexing. It's a loose, sleepy pull. Ready? Eight, nine, ten. Jumping jacks. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Slowing down the basics. And then four, three, two, and one. Okay. Do it all again. Hands up. First one was the jab. If you want advanced guys, you can change angles. Okay. So, when you learn to move, first time is just standing still, no moving. Second, you make it more difficult by incorporating movement. Third, you make it more difficult by incorporating head movement, right? So, things we talked about learned in the past, okay? Hands up. One, two, you lose. Three, what if that reach, that, that can't reach it? You guys know, step. Four, big step and drag. Five, Six, seven, sometimes I move left and around. Eight, and forward. Make sure you go forward a bit so you don't get leg kicked to it. Nine, ten, cross. One, think about what you gotta work on. Two, is your heel dropping? Three, is your head still? Four, is your speed there? Five, is your turn happening at 90% of the weight, or is it happening now? Ten, got to be mindful. You get mindful of one area, the other area loosens up. That's normal. That's me too. Ready? Let's go. One, two, as you start to warm up, you want to start to punch as fast as you can clap. Three, four, when you're done, give a little pitch at the bottom. The hands will go in the right position. Five. Right back to your face. Move backwards. Move circular. See how my hands are always ready though? Six. You can always throw. Seven. Be very conscious, guys, that your feet don't relax and do something like this. Did I ever teach you this? Is this some type of magical stance? No. Okay? You need to always move with respect for your opponent. I see some people do a great combo and then they like walk around or something. Okay? Don't do that. Ready? Two more. One. Even though I'm not fighting anybody, look. I get in that habit. Two. All right, ten knees. Let's go. One. Smooth. Two. Three. Four. Pull. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Left side. One. Touch. Two. Touch. Three. Four, five, six, seven, pull, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Ten jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's see if we do that again. That was good. Good review. Um, I'm going to check the time. I forget what time we started at. Remember what time we started at? Quarter two? Uh, we'll quarter after. Yeah, probably. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's do it again. Have the head movement now. One. Just the jab, right? Two. Three. You remember how we check if our hands are high enough? Open them. Binoculars. Beautiful. Ready? Open them. What the? All right, get them up. Four. Five. Stay in that shell. Six. You're going to get hit. You just got to minimize the chance that it hits your jaw. Right here. It's going to hit here. If I do get hit. Hopefully I don't get hit at all. Seven. Through movement, timing, anticipation, you can win the whole fight without even taking one hit. But it's not luck. Ten. Cross. 
One. What do you got to work on? Two. Try to get this shoulder to go almost where this shoulder is. You see, a lot of times we stop it here. Where this should almost take the place of this one. Can't get all the way, but it should almost try to change, change positions. Make sense? Let's go. Six. Gonna feel different. Seven. Turn those shoulders. Eight. The looser you are, the harder you hit. It's like a chain. Nine. Your hand has to be closed though. I don't want anybody doing this. It has to be 90 degrees. Okay? It can be open like a roll of dimes. Ten. Yeah, cross. One. Two. Maybe you have to check and kick. Be careful, right? Don't be head. Get those kicks. Three. Good. Move your head. Four. Five. Watch your footwork. Six. That one felt good. Seven. That one didn't. Eight. Move your head. Nine. Ten. And relax. Good. Let's go to knees. Ten times. One. Rip. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Pull that heel back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Boom. Left side. One. Touch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And walk it off. Take 30 seconds. We'll get on to the next technique. Hey, you, on the couch, watching, not even training. Join us, come on. This is fun, it's not fun to watch. I can't, if I can't watch, I barely watch UFC, right? It's more fun to do, okay? Let's do it, Ready? hands up. Let's go, fighting stance. Let's go cross hook, here we go. Cross, hook, boom. Okay, elbow high, thumb up, 90 degrees. Break that down, lesson one, two, three, four, one of those ones. Okay, cross up 10 times. One, two, don't tense up. We have a tendency to go too tense on the second punch, okay? We're like smooth and then kill, okay? Nothing ever feels like kill. It's just boom, game of tag, game of tag, pop, 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 pop. Oh, where is he? Just knock them, come on. This is a game of tag, ready? Three. Rotate the body. Four. Hopefully you guys have been doing that T-frame drill. Right? Five. Lift the elbow up. Six. I'll do the first step forward. What do you guys? Seven. Now sometimes, guys, more details today. it. You're ready for them now. Look. Sometimes we cheat because we think about the hook. We don't throw the right hand all the way. We go like the arm. But now your body's not turned to wind up for the hook. So this becomes an arm. So what we think is going to save us energy by doing less is going to make us work more and be less effective. So the more you turn on this one, you see, boom, the more wind up you have for the next one. So never cheat on a combo. You actually make it harder for yourself, okay? Try uh, four more with that. One. Sometimes I think you do that to go faster. You don't need to. Two. Really rotate. Three. See? Okay? And I only go just past the cheek. And then it comes back the same trajectory. Okay? Boom. So right to the cheek. Nine. So even though we know it's good to rehash those details, right? Ten. Okay, now we're going to start with the hook, then the cross. Okay? I wouldn't do this exactly like this, but it's a good way to learn it. Never leave with the hook. Because the guy will always beat you with a straight jab or a cross and hurts you. Okay? You can use it as a counter, but I wouldn't leave with it. But we can leave with it when we disguise it stuff behind other things. But to learn it, it's good to do it by itself. Hands up. So, first set, I'm going to explain it more. Heel up, shoulders square, or past half. Okay, you feel that? You need that wind up. We have a tendency when we want to throw a hook first to do this with it open. Now when you turn, everybody turn. Do you feel the same elasticity now? You don't feel any wind up. 
when you were a little more narrow and you turned, you almost couldn't turn anymore. And that's where you want to be. Feel it? And then we're going to go cross up. This one's a fun one. Ready? Hands up. We're going to just rip this, boom, and then come back with a cross. Okay? Let's go. Feel the elasticity and unleash. One. Okay? It's the speed, the looseness. Two. Don't widen up too much. Three. We're settling towards you. Four. I was leaning a little bit too much like straight. I want to get forward more. Keep that curve. Five. You see how that opens the top of my head? More than my face? That's why I don't like being here. This is better sometimes for kicks and knees, but sometimes your face is more open for punches. So keep that chin down, keep that tilt. Ready? Ten. Okay. What do we got next? All right, we're going to do a clinch. Let's grab your head. Left hand, right hand, layer, elbows in, square it up. Okay, we're gonna step back with one leg, boom. Don't touch your heel, don't rest, be here. And then you're gonna pull the knee, okay? So we're gonna finish up square. One, step back, pull the knee, and then we'll go back square. Two, step, back to square. Three, step, you gotta get that shoulder to pull back. Four, step, that could be knee in the face or the bottom. Five, step, make it sharp. Other side, one, step, back again. Two, step, you can put it square right away. Three, step back, pull. Four, five, and punch, you know, let's go straight punches nonstop. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Work on bringing to and from your cheeks, tuck your chin. Hide inside that tunnel of punches. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, walk it off and do it all again. Good job. Getting hotter. Okay, my friends, cross hook. Is that right? I think so. Okay, hands up. Let's check the range. Ready? One, two, now one thing I want you to check on, see, to be honest, when you threw the hook, did you drop this down? Very common. And when you throw a hook, they throw a hook, and one of you is going to get knocked out, maybe. If you're lucky, or unlucky, I mean, double knockout. Lucky in the way that you're going to go viral across the whole world, people will know your name. Look at these two guys knock themselves out at the same time. Unlucky because it's still a knockout. And if your opponent gets up first, they could win. What am I talking about? Okay, ready? Hands up. Here we go. Stop babbling. Let's go. Three. Four. See how this comes back? Five. Protects. Just a little block and save you. Six. Move your head. Hands, guys. Keep that width. Seven. Check your feet. Make sure they're not like a skateboard. Seven. Eight. Sometimes guys want to teach it, people go one and they turn their face. Keep your eyes. Kind of turn from neck down, you know? Ten. Hook cross. One. Wide. Unleash. Two. Sometimes you'll see me do this with a jump. But not today. Okay? Three. Four. Right back to your face. Five. Six. Good speed, my friends. Seven. Eight. I leaned a bit on that one. Nine. Let's try a jumping one. You ready? Turn, and then you spring. As you jump, you turn your feet. There's your hook, and then you cross. So your feet tax your turn while you're in the air. Ready? Let's go. One. Let me do that again. Two. Good job, my friends. All right, just lost the connection there. Okay, here we go. Clinch, step back, one. Clinch, two, step back, pull, three, four, five. It's the ball of the foot, heel doesn't touch. Other side, one. Two, 
and then dip. Six, seven, three more, eight, nine, ten. All right, they're charging at us, they're angry. This elbow that they're coming to drive in, you get out of their way, lift this heel, turn your body, look over your shoulder, right in the nose. Okay, and you can make that sound if you want, okay? Ready? Try with me. Okay? Do it. Here we go. One step. Okay, that was my wife did that. Stop doing that. Two. Up. Crack it. Three. Step. Let's go. Four. Step. Perfect. They're charging out of the way. Five. Catch it. Six. Couple more. Seven. Eight, sideways, two more, move around that. Nine, ten, and relax, good, shake it off. All right, we're on to the next set. Feels good to train, guys, on a Monday, let's get back at it. Feel good. Remember, like I said, do this conditioning, do the extra classes, do old lessons. Do the body weight workouts. All this is going to make you more comfortable, better shape. Okay, here we go. We're going to go jab, cross, start. Ready? Ten times. One. Two. Three. Four. Remember, work on that speed. Five. Six. As soon as you move, it's already two in the face. Seven. Eight. Keep that curve. Gives you about two or three inches more reach. Nine. Ten. All right, we're gonna catch the kick now. Review from a past class, we move to the right, right, left. Catch and hold. Then we're gonna grab their neck. One knee, two knees, okay? Ready? Move to your right, catch the kick. With your left arm, grab the back of the neck, two knees. One, come back, two, three, squeeze, four, get your balance, five, move and hold, six, Seven. Two more. Three more. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Good job. Now I'm going to do the throw by and kick him in the stomach and face. So catch. Okay. Now we're going to step back and drop this to our hand. Their ankle is going to go into our hand. We're going to step back with our back leg, which moves our stomach out of the way. We throw it by, and then we do a small opening, and then kick, body kick, or head kick on the front side of the body. When you kick, you want to aim to swing like a samurai sword and end up with your legs essentially side by side. Okay? So you don't, I don't want you to kick on this one, just like do that. I want you to spin and let it go through. Okay? Here we go. You guys with me? All right. One, boom, back foot step, we go slow, throw, and swing. Gotta get those legs warmed up. Ready? Two, move, only back leg, throw, kick. Again, reset, be calm. Just because it's a kick, don't try to kill. Three, move, back foot, throw, fire back. Four, move to the side, move to the back, throw. One more. Five. Move. Back. Throw. Good. How does, um... Okay. Sorry, guys. Making sure I'm sticking the game plan today. Okay, let's do five more. Let's do that five more. One. Move. Step. Throw. Good. Make this very technical. Move and hug. Back leg. Throw. Kick. 
Two more. Sideways, backwards, throw. Sideways, backwards, throw. And let's go punch, punch, crawl. One. Get up. Two. Three. You can't crawl, you have hard floor to squats or jump squats. Four. Five. Six. Good work. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two types of sprawls there, guys. We have the one where we kind of straight, and then one kind of defeats the single leg when we turn our hip. Walk it off. 20 seconds. Deep breath. Okay, we're going to the uh, cross catch and then adding the knees. Sorry, not cross catch, catch. All right, here we go. Ready? Jab cross. One, two, move a little bit, move your head, three, fire right from your chamber, four, give them the top of your head the punch, remember we're going to slip those things too, right, five, six, we got ten times, seven, and move a bit, eight, nine, 10. All right, we're gonna catch the kick and do the two knees. Ready? One, move, grab, smooth. Good. Two, three, Let's keep it moving. You guys remember why we do the step to the side? You could catch it, but you're gonna take the full power of the kick, break your ribs. When you go here, you diffuse the power, okay? Five. They're up on one leg there, jumping around. Six. Make it better by pulling up. So they're on their tiptoes. Boom, maybe they fall down, boom. Seven. Good. Eight. Catch. As we move. Nine. That's why it's so important enough for them not to telegraph their kick. Because if you see it 10, it's going to be able to make it pay. All right, let's go um, throw back. One, catch, back foot, go. Two, three, try to turn your toes, then your chest, then your kick. Four, Five, six, build that momentum. No different than punching, right? We don't want to kick first. We want to build and then kick. Ready? Let's do it again. Nine, and 10. And punch, punch, sprawl, 10 times. One. Get up. Move. Try to take you down. End of the fight. Two. Can't go down. You can win it. Three. For you MMA fighters, one take down is a huge point sometimes. We gotta fight it. Five. I think that was four. Five. Six. Seven.
What time is it? 7.52. 7 what? 5.2. 7 7.52? Yeah. Uh, oh, what did that happen? Right? So that clock's broken. <laughs> I've been watching the clock since 10 after 7 forever. I'm like, oh, man. It's getting tough. Okay. So 7.52. Let's go here. Uh, hands up. Fight your stance. Just keep me updated on time now. I'm going to have to go by field now. Okay. So we did the sprawls. And let's go on to the next one. Okay, we're gonna um, cross catch and spin out to the lead side. Very technical. Okay, ready? So, we're gonna go from this side. We're gonna step, this is a new skill. Hands up, you're gonna step outside their punch, their right hand, and then you're gonna rotate and deflect. Cross catch, we've done that before, or we rotate. Okay, so they're gonna be here, we're gonna be off angle, we're gonna still be able to catch it. Ready? So let's go. One, step, spin, deflect. I don't push down. Very common when I teach is people push down. You just go, like even your body moving does it. You see? Sideways. Same eyes up, hands up and line. Okay? Here we go. We're just gonna do that with no attack shift. One, step, pivot. And now we're still gonna attack the same person. Especially if they were very aggressive, right? Two, step outside, pivot and block. Okay? Make sure you don't go into the punch. You go outside the line of fire already a little bit. And if they punch, you're blocking. Three, deflect. Changing angles. Four, step, parry, and move. Five, step, parry, and turn. Good. Six, you can open your hand up a little bit. Seven, Remember, we can keep our hands open a bit, but you have, I like to have that 90 degrees. Eight, easily, being said, I can, sorry, that being said, I can easily change it, right, when I need to pair it. Nine. Ten. Okay, you don't want your feet to crisscross. You want to feel ready to kick, ready to punch. Okay, so we're going to go um, at the right hand now. Ready? One, step, parry, cross. Two, three, always be ready to punch. Same technique we do all the time, that right hand. Four, this is a different set. Five, you feel kind of wind up when you turn here. Six, this is another reason I carry my hand slightly in front of my face. Okay, if it's here, it's gotta be like so close hitting me. Carry in front. Seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna punch it, and then we're gonna throw our swing kick into the body face. Okay, ready? Uh, take a break for a second. Just gonna check our numbers. All right, we're good. We do five times. One step, parry. Cross and kick. Okay? Two. Step. Parry. Cross and kick. Three. Four. One more. Five. to the legs and punch it out. Let's go. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn the shoulders. Eight, nine. Get your chin down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, and six. 95% straight every time. Four, three. Faster. Two, and one. Good job. Lock it off. Time check. Please. 56. Six. All right. Let's do it again. Okay, hands up. Step, parry, spin up. One. You can do it any angle now if you want. Two. This is a little harder. We don't have that straight angle, so if you do it, go forward. 
Because you can kind of tell how much you want to turn. Five. When there's no one there, it's more of an experience. Six, you can visualize where they will be. Seven. Eight, check the binoculars. Hands are open. Nine, good. Ten, all right. What's our first return? Cross, ready? One, step, parry, cross. Two, three. Four. Don't be afraid to almost turn 90 degrees sometimes. Watch me one more time. Sometimes it might be so much if you gotta really expose himself, right? Six. Seven. I like to keep my heel down flat so that I have a full shot. Some people teach with the heel up already. I find it within my power. Okay? So we'll put it down. And it's, well, the problem I think why they do that is because sometimes when they put the heel down, people transfer the weight back. Garbage now, right? So you always have to have that 50%, right? We also don't want forward, we want right in the middle, okay? So important, it's very subtle, right? A couple more pounds on one foot, can't fire back. Here we go. Nine, equal weight, you can fire back crisp. 10, that's a kick. One, one. Cross, swing kick. Two, parry, cross, kick. Three, parry, cross, kick. Four, step, parry, cross, kick. Five, step, parry, cross, kick. Good job, punch it out, ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You tell me one of the details. Exactly, elbows in. Tell me another detail. Chin down, perfect. Another detail, relaxing. Another detail, hands to your cheekbones. Another detail, elbows in. Another detail, Jeff's not even counting what's going on here. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Shoulders, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Walk it off. Hey, grab a drink. Okay, on the stomachs. 30 push ups. Ready? And let's do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay. Hands up. We're going to do the other side now. So sometimes you're going to parry and go off this way. So, footwork. You step forward to the corner. Get off the line of fire. This is nice against a righty because there's a powerful kick. There's a powerful punch. We go away, we pivot this one, and we parry here, okay? And then we're gonna have a cross, uh, cross on our southpaw side. And then the kick, and then the punch out. We'll do the punch out southpaw, change it up. Make sense? Here we go. Ready? Slow. Step to the corner. Parry with the front hand, and back. Feel ready to throw your cross, which is your left hand. Two, step, parry, set. Okay, it could be 90 degrees even. Three, I'll go a little farther this time. Boom, right? Four, step forward another way. Good. Five, not straight. Corner, pivot. Let's go. Six. New skill. Come on. Seven. Make sure as you pit, pit, uh, sorry, pit it, many piece. Cross catch, right? Or parry, intense call. Eight. One. Boom. It deflected. Nine. Move. Boom. One more. 
10, step, parry, and turn. Okay, add the cross. One, step, parry, left hand. Two, okay. Three, right back to your hands up. You're still not knocked out. Four, step, parry, hit. Five, be solid. Six, move, parry, crack it. Seven, so it's about playing both sides, angles. Eight, nine, one more. Ten, move, parry, down the kick to the body. One, move, parry, hit, and kick. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good job, my friends. One more. Five. Punch it out from self bar. Opposite leg in front. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Walk it off. And we'll do it again. Anybody sweating? Good work. Okay, so we're still orthodox. We're going to go to the other side. Okay, we got to remember, when we fight, it's not just about how far you are. Of course, if you're very far, like you to me, I can't hit you, you can't hit me. But there's little pockets that you can play where you're safe, you know, different positions. There's a very small area that can really crack hard. Everything else, you can still hit me hard, but I lose the power. And that's... That's like a higher, higher level game, right? You get that confidence and pay a little bit as you, as you spar and mess up at first, okay? But everybody's all about ins and outs. Out very far, in hit. Out very far, but the dangerous people get in and then they're just a little off angle, if that makes sense, okay? So you can see them, you just cannot hit the part, okay? Hands up. Very subtle, it's invisible. One, step, parry, pivot. Let's go. Two, step outside, parry, pivot. Okay, good. Any angle you want. Three, step, change. Four, step to the forward corner. If you're new, just do it towards the camera. It's the easiest way. Five, step, parry. You won't lose your bearings, right? Come over here, it's easy. Six, step, boom. It can be sideways. It's going to be like play at uh, 12 and 9. Seven, 12 and 9. It's fine. Eight, let's get better a little quicker. Nine, step, let's go. Ten, follow the cross, let's go. Any angle you want. One, step, parry, step. Two, three, four, five, six, even full turn. Seven. There's people that like to switch the cell phone back and forth. Good one for you. Eight. Nine. Ten. What are we at next? Exactly. The kick. Ready? One. Step. Parry. Hit. Turn the foot. Turn the chest. Kick. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Good job, my friends. One more. Five. And 20 second punch out, self ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Faster. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. From your face. Four, three, two, and one. 
Good, walk it up. Good job. Let's check the timer in here. Check my game plan, doing a good job, my friends. Hope nobody's on the couch now. Remember we, everybody training. Scroll down here. Okay. Everybody. Good work on your backs. Let's check the range here. Am I in your camera range, guys? Can you see me? We're good? Alright, here we go. Let's do some crunches and abs. You did a good job today. Very technical one today. Not crazy. You know, non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Very technical. A couple new moves. Got a good sweat. Good work. Okay. Let's go. 25 crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody say ten with me. Eight, nine. Well, that wasn't loud enough. We gotta start again. Ready? One, two, three. You gotta stay in your living room there, right? Wherever you are. Four, five, I mean, ten, six, seven, eight, nine. Serious guys, it wasn't loud enough. Let's start again. One, come on. Two, I don't hear it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's better. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's 20 now. One, two, three, four, 25. Look twisting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody, nine. One, two, three, four, 25. Bicycle. One, two, squeeze your stomach. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty. One, two, three, four, twenty-five. Good leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight. Nine, twenty. One, two, three, four. Exits. Let's go. One, two. Straight legs. Three, four, five. Straight them out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One. Keep your lower back in the mat. Three, four. Up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Hold them up. Six inches up the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not doing as many today. We'll have less breaks in between. Nine, twenty. One, two, three. Four and five. Touch your opposite ankle. One, sorry, same side kind of ankle. Two, three, two foot count. Four, move your butt. Five, six, reach. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that movement going. One, two, three, four. Try to grab that ankle. Five, six, don't just touch it. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, twenty-five. On your side. Put your hand behind your head. We're gonna put our our hand on our ribs, okay? And I'm just going to go out here. Uh, oh man, I forget what exercise I used to like a lot. Okay, we'll do um uh, let's do this one. Okay, legs up, hold the ribs. Actually, we'll put both hands behind the head of this one. Okay, we're gonna bring our legs up and our, our elbow towards our hip. Ready? One, two, three, four, squeeze the side, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you're squeezing the side. Eight, nine, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Switch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. 
One, two, three, four, forty-five. Okay, let's go. Uh, opposite foot touch. Ready? Legs in the air. Touch with your hand. One, two, two per count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Cherry pickers. One, two, three, four. Those double sets kill. Five, six. Let's go. Seven. Legs in the air. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't touch the floor with your feet. Eight, nine, twenty. Come on. One, two, three, four, twenty-five. Okay. Triple sit hit ups for the last triple hit sit ups. Yes, triple sit hit-ups. Triple hit sit-ups for the last 25. Here we go, ready? Hit your ribs, hit your thighs, hit your calves with the hammer. Ready, one, last, two, 25. Three, never done for the day. Four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, got it, there's only another 18, let's think about life, 19, let's go, 20, 21, 22, we're about an hour cloud, 23, 24, 25. You got 25 more? Okay, let's go. 21. 2. 25 more. 3. You can do it. Let's go. 4. Come back strong. My next class. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. 10. 15 more. Come on. 1. 2. 3. Four. Let's swing the arms now. Five. Then hit. Six. Little swing. Good. Seven. Make it burn. That's one bit there. Eight. Come on. Nine. No swing. Hit. Ten. Why am I moving another on the floor? Eleven. Come on. Almost done. Twelve. No swing. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good job. Stretch out your stomach, arch your back. Twist a little bit. Always good to cool down after class on your own. Do some stretches, spend a little time. Well, good job today, guys. Everybody, hands on the ground. And respect. Good job. See you next time.